And Andrew, state police and investigators and eyewitnesses tell me Andre Smith was speeding here down Market Street in downtown Brownsville. The lights and sirens went on at that stoplight that you see behind me. Smith tried to make a right here on Bank Street and lost control of the car, eventually coming to rest where family and friends are remembering him tonight. It's been very tough. It's been very difficult simply because we really don't know what led to the, led up to this. Cherie Smith is Andre Smith's cousin, but she says she treated him like a son. She says Andre had his struggles, but was working two jobs, playing varsity basketball for Brownsville High School, and getting his life in order. Our family is struggling. His friends are struggling. Everyone involved is struggling. It's not an easy situation or circumstance. To endure. State Trooper Matt Jardine says there are two ongoing investigations stemming from this crash. The first is on the crash itself. The second, the circumstances that led to it. State police say Andre Smith was following a car that family members say his girlfriend and one of her friends was in after an apparent dispute. Concerned for their safety, they called 911 and told police Smith had a gun. Eventually, police located the car Andre Smith was driving. They observed the suspect's vehicle in Brownsville. They attempted to stop the vehicle. They activated their emergency lights and sirens. He immediately accelerated and fled and crashed into a building. Smith's family says his actions were out of character. Either way, they don't blame the two girls for calling 911 if they believed they were in danger. I don't believe that when they called 911 that it was the intent for his life to come to an end. As for the car Smith was driving, family members say it was not his. State police also did recover a gun from the car, but again, Andre Smith's family doesn't know how he got it. We're live in Brownsville, Fayette County. David Kaplan, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. All right.